Isn't it the president of the United States who has broad sway to decide the foreign policy of the United States? Is not the president the one who sets the foreign policy, not the president who's expected to abide by a foreign policy established by other people? So Christopher Cordwell writes, on the one hand, European leaders were recognizing the immovable democratic reality that the present day Republican Party represents. Right? None failed to swear loyalty to the Trumpian proposition that Europe ought to pay more for its defense. On the other hand, European leaders continue to cast Trump as a threat to democracy, albeit one that could be neutralized with the help of a few political tricks. So they proposed a $100 billion five-year funding plan for the Ukrainian war effort, shifted authority over the arms contributions from the U.S. to NATO itself, and declared Ukraine's path to NATO membership irreversible. So if Ukraine joins NATO or is set to join NATO, there's nothing that... Vladimir Putin and Russia won't do to destroy Ukraine. So Trump proofing is obviously anti-democratic. Leaders do not get to lay out the policies of their elected successors.